But as you get your Tuesday morning started, it is still looking amazing outside. We do have these nice, cute, pink, colorful skies as we have those gorgeous twilight sunrise colors showing up in our tower cam with a few clouds back there. But overall, skies are still mostly clear for now. It's 73 degrees and our winds are still calm. Now, as we've been mentioning over the last couple of days, a cold front is going to be approaching our area. It hasn't reached us just yet, but we do still see some showers over portions of northeastern Louisiana, northern Mississippi, and also seeing some isolated showers out over the Gulf at this time, but our highs will be in the low and mid 90s for today, just like it was for our Monday 94 for Zachary Baton Rouge and 93 for Gonzales with heat index values near 100. Now, while skies are mostly clear for now, we'll see cloud coverage increasing throughout our Tuesday. Some isolated showers trying to develop by this afternoon, but we'll mainly see that a little bit closer to that frontal boundary over portions of central and northern Louisiana and central Mississippi are the main spots where we'll be seeing rain between today and also tomorrow. But again, we'll still have some isolated showers trying to pass through the Baton Rouge area a little bit later on today and also for tonight. Our overnight lows will be in the upper 60s to low 70s, with our southwest Mississippi towns being a little bit cooler, of course. And then our highs for tomorrow will be in the 80s. We're looking at a high of 87 for New Roads, 89 for Baton Rouge, and 89 for Gonzales. So we'll still be a little bit closer to 90 degrees. And then once this front of boundary begins to move through the area, we'll have more showers moving through Baton Rouge around the late morning hours, mid to late morning. We could still see that occurring through lunchtime. And then this front of boundary continues to move off to the east, and we'll We'll have drier conditions returning by Wednesday evening and also with this trough in place that's going to help drive in that cold front, but also keep this next storm, which is going to become Hurricane Helene within the next day or two, pretty much keep it off to the east in the eastern Gulf, moving towards the Big Bend area of Florida. So looking at the moisture content, we'll continue to have some drier air flowing in due to the frontal boundary, but also as the system continues to move to the north and northeast, we'll also be on the western side of what will become Helene and this will help to bring in that northerly northeasterly wind flow which will pull in that cooler and drier air into our area in addition to the cold front doing that for us so our dew points are going to be dropping into the 60s for the second half of this week is going to be feeling nice and comfortable as we go into your Thursday and Friday and this weekend with lower humidity thanks to those lower dew points and our highs will be more so near average we're just looking at highs to be in the mid and upper 80s for your Thursday and into Sunday and also we'll still be a little bit closer to 90 for your Wednesday. But again, nice comfortable weather is returning. Potential tropical cyclone 9 will likely develop into a tropical storm later on today and strengthen into a hurricane as it continues moving northward through the Gulf and could possibly become a major hurricane before making landfall sometime on Thursday near the Big Bend area of Florida. But for us, our weather conditions are a little bit more quiet for this week and pleasant feeling weather is on the way later this week.